This is Dion Neutra. I am the architect of the new research house on the banks of Silver Lake in Los Angeles. This is the reconstruction of our family home, first built in 1932 by my father, Richard Neutra. After a disastrous fire in 1963, I had the rare opportunity to rebuild on the original foundation with many innovations. <laughs> We would like to take you on a tour with a camera following and attempt to show how the human being perceives and appreciates an example of what we call the designed environment, commonly referred to as architecture. tend to look in all directions to record new sensations. Through a combination of our many senses working together, we perceive not only with our sight, but also our ears, our sense of smell, our perception of form, color, texture, and the relationship with nature of the architecture. How rich this experience is compared with a single snapshot, catching for a moment in time a particular view or image. Passing upwards through space on a staircase, looking around, perceiving the spaces as they unfold, is a unique human quality which can never be replicated by the still photographer, no matter how skilled or artistic. And yet in this day of instant images, we tend to rely more and more on such as substitutes for the real experience of being there. This little pilot film is intended to indicate the rich possibilities that such an approach through video and sound might provide when combined with the usual black and white images most often seen in a gallery exposition on architecture. You see here the use of many mirrors, both supplied by nature and the architect. This building was originally sited in this spot because the waters of Silver Lake came right up to the street here. In the 1950s, the waters was removed some 600 feet away from the site. In order to compensate for this in the rebuilding, we introduced a number of areas of water within the building itself, as well as an assortment of mirrors and specialty glasses, which provide various degrees of reflectivity. As I traverse through the building, the camera attempts to replicate the richness of the experience. The relationship from indoors to out. The movement of the various elements within the building. The views from the several rooms. The sounds and acoustics of the space the movement of wind in the trees, the progression of the viewer within the building. The changes of its various elements. These all add to the memorable pleasure of traversing from one space to another. Here in action is the motor activity of mounting another stair. We have covered the entire roof with water in order to somewhat recapture the original quality of the site.
In the mirror, we see water both in the foreground as in the background. We can try to visualize how it might have looked when the entire grassy area was water, how it might look were water to be placed here again. Mother and son reminisce over a half century of history and note how the development on the opposite shore has a continued apace with the ever greater density of the urban environment. As the sun sinks behind the western hills, they speak about the early days when the original building was built. There were practically no houses on the opposite side of the lake. 